Hey there, friends. Welcome back to some more of The Longest Journey. Take two. Ah. This time I thought I had paused it because I had to get up for a second, and I didn't. And then when I thought I unpaused it, I actually paused it. It was just terrible. But when we last left off, we were trying to figure out where to go. Well, it go to figure out that when moving seaweed just once doesn't actually move it all the way. You have to move it again. There's an entrance to a cave back here. Judging by the amount of seaweed, it's a long time since anybody's been in there. So let's go in. And what do we find? We have crystals. It's another one of those blue crystals. Now let's pick it up. And pick it up. Pick it up. And we have an altar. Let's look at it. Now what we have to do is use the altar, or put the stones on the altars. And... Then... Um... move these things around and well you'll see. Uh okay. Um put this one here. And we'll put this one here. Um and then we have to move these. Cuz this is a This ring is inscribed with the image of fire. That one's fire, that one's marum, and this one's just a pot, and then this one's a bird. So... No, 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 no. We move that one twice, we move the marum one twice, and we move the bird one twice. And now we have to flip these around. Okay, I think that one's fine. I think we have to... Oh, no, 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 give me that. Flip, flip, flip. We have to flip them so they're all a certain thing. Um. This ring is inscribed with the image of fire. I know that. I just did this like 20 minutes ago too. 20 minutes ago. Ah. Hmm. Here we go. No, stop picking them up. I need to place it down. And I need to twirl them. So that's fire. Like, I think I need to match the symbols. I remember right. Um. Or not. Thinking. Thinking. Thinking makes my brain hurt. Hmm. Okay, let's let's turn this one. Okay, no, no, I remember. Oh. There we go. The crystals on the altar light up the entire cave. We have symbols. Oh, and what's this? 
I know what it is, but I'm going to act it's like I know. It's a similar indentation framed with the image of two dragons fighting each other's tails. Almost exactly like the markings on my talisman. So we have the image of the balance, and then we have drawings. Like Let's see what they are. It looks like visual history of the Marum people. According to this first tablet... Oh my god. It turns out the Marum came to Earth inside a type of spaceship from another planet. They're aliens? Not that anything should surprise me at this point, but still. They look very different back then, though. It must have been a long time ago. Their ship looks to have been a living thing, according to these drawings. Wait a minute. Could this be their ancient god? One of the dragons? I think it has to be. After they arrived on Earth, their species divided in two. One crawled into the sea, the other onto land. What does that mean? It means one walked, one be swam. A while later, because the Marum look like they do today. At least the ones who went into the sea do. The other ones, they have wings. If I'm going to guess, I'd say that the ones who went to live on land became the Alation, which means the Marum and Alation are related. In this one, they're living close to each other and in peace. And it seems they share equally in the production of Tan Yen, which attracts fish for both peoples to eat. Then something happens. Or looks like, and the Marum and Alation move away from each other. In this last one, Tanyan is beginning to become scarce, and the Marum are losing many of their young ones to the Snapjaw. They fear the Alation, and they forget their common heritage. At the very end, there's a prophecy, I think. The Marum and the Alation joining hands once again. When they do, Tanyan becomes plentiful and both people prosper. So, someone has some explaining to do. Ayo, Queenie, friend. We need to have a talk. Me and you, mono, imano, one to one. Can we talk for a minute? Yes, Gathera. We may. So there's this cave that's not really hidden that well because it's a big hole guarded by like two things of seaweed. What's that all about? Why was the cave with the altar and the wall painting just outside the city abandoned? What? Show us this cave. Immediately. Oh, this is a cave alright. Yeah. Seen one before. Nice cave. I lit the cave by placing the crystal from your palace, together with three more crystals I found on the altar, and moving the stone rings into their correct positions. Can it be that you are... but you are a gatherer? You cannot be she. Who? Who can't I be? The Water Stiller. She who, by prophecy, will deliver us from strife and unite us as one people. She who will uncover thee ancient shrine looks pretty ancient to me this is the shrine yes and you have brought light to the darkness as well but the other prophecies you have not fulfilled them you have not proven yourself to be the water stiller yet how can i do that come back with us and we will tell you okay let's go ahead because well, holy crap here we are how can I prove that I'm the Water Stiller? You have uncovered the ancient shrine and brought light to the darkness. But this could be just chance. You must show us the witness you carry of your mission to the balance. The talisman! Damn, I lost it when the storm hit us! You must also kill a snapjaw with a spear. And then you will have proven yourself to us. Once you have done this, we will aid you in your quest to make us one people. Who is the Water Stiller? She is of the prophecies. She will bring an end to strife and unite our people. Where do I begin? Take this spear and slaughter a snapjaw. This must be done to prove your strength and to prove you are of the Miram. Where do I find the snapjaw? If you are the Water Stiller, you will find a way. Uh, oh, yeah, I'm totally the water stiller or stealer or whatever. I'm going to take your spear now. Because I am April Rambo. Oh, my God, just take it. 
So we do know where a Snapjaw is. We do know. However, actually, I'm not even going to spoil it for you. It's amazing. I'm not joking. Are you guys ready for the epic battle of epicness that is about to happen? Are you ready? I don't think you're ready. You don't even seem remotely hyped enough. Are you ready for this? Oh, man. Here we go. Um, that wasn't what was supposed to happen. Okay, I'm doing it completely wrong now. There we go. There it is, folks. The Battle of the Snapjaw. Just one little... Eh! And it's done! Man, don't I feel not gypped. It's dead. I killed it. So, we need to take something off it. I'll need something to bring back to prove that I killed the Snapjaw. This tooth will do just fine. Oh man, that's sharp. I had no idea Snapjaw had razor teeth. If I did, better not think about that now. And let's go into the wreck because we need our talisman, which is just right there. So let's pick that up. We need it. We need it in our lives. We need the precious. I'm terrible at voices. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Pick it up. Come on. Pick it up. God, you look so bored. So bored, April. Alright. Now we need to go back to the city. Actually, we need to go somewhere else first. So remember back in the cave, there was a symbol... We need to go there real quick. I like how this whole chapter is basically four screens. Four screens, one entire chapter, lots of going back and forth. And then apparently there's only one person in the city. I haven't seen anybody else, so... Yep. Nope. Yep. It come on. Get there there we go. And what's in here? It's a small niche containing what appears to be a shard of a stone. Well, take it. It's a piece of the stone disc. No wait. It's only one half of a piece. It looks like it's been divided in two. Strange. So we have one disc split into four pieces, and then one piece of that four split into two. That seems like the right thing to do. It really does. Not silly at all. Definitely the best thing to do. Because if someone needs it to say, I don't know, stop the world from exploding, the best thing to do is to have pieces really far away and then cut those pieces into pieces and move those away too. I like the convenientness, convenientness of it. Yes, Gatherer. We may... Oh, we don't. We don't talk. Thanks for your time. It's show, My not time tell yours, time. Gatherer. So, so I have this tooth. It's really big. Looks kind of like a, a penis. Tooth from the dreaded snapjaw that guarded the shipwreck. Proof of my strength and courage. You have fulfilled that part of the prophecy. If you fulfill the rest, we will acknowledge you as the water stiller. And, uh, now I've got this thing right here. Looks like one of those, uh, coin presses that, like, a fair or something, you stick like a penny in and it smushes it. It's kind of what that looks like. Here's proof of my mission. 
a magical talisman with the sign of the balance. It means that I'm the 13th guardian of the balance. You have fulfilled that part of the prophecy. If you fulfill the rest, we will acknowledge you as the water stiller. And one more thing. I've got your shell looking disc part piece of a thing. I've taken from you the object you've kept hidden for generations. It's part of the disc that will restore the balance and save the twin worlds from chaos. You have indeed fulfilled all but one of the prophecies. You might yet be the water stiller. We would not have thought she would come in our lifetime. Good. Then you'll take me to your sleeping god. There is but one more prophecy you must fulfill. There's more? Sure, there's always more. That's the fun part about prophecies. You must unite our people once again. But you said you were united, that there's no strife between Miram. The Water Stiller will come to bring our people together again, to unite us and save us. This has still not come to pass. Until you do so, the prophecies of the Water Stiller have not fully come to pass. So, uh, yeah, so you have, like, kin that fly, and you guys don't. You may want to make up with them. I think I know now what the prophecies mean when they say your people will be reunited. The Mero are at peace with each other, yes? But you're not at peace with the Elation. The Wind Demons. They are our enemies. Right now they might be. But it wasn't always like that. Not according to the carvings in the Temple Cave. What do you mean? Once upon a time, long ago, the Miram and the Elation were one people. What? This is heresy. I'm just telling you what I saw in your temple. This was a very long time ago, and the one species soon divided in two. One sought refuge in the sea, the other on the winds. But both the Miram and the Elation were dependent on the other for various reasons, amongst them Ten Yen, which was abundant where the two people lived in close proximity to each other. Apparently, there was peace between your two people for a very long time, but then something happened, something that caused a war to break out. Both the Elation and the Miram moved far away from each other, and ever since then, your people have had a tough time finding Ten Yen. I think the only way to save the Miram from a slow death and the elation as well, probably, is to reconcile you with your, uh, common ancestry. How can we believe you, Water Stiller? Your words are too outrageous, and the consequences, were you to be speaking the truth, are grave. If you don't believe me, check out the temple walls. The whole story has been recorded there, probably when you first Not came only that, you're place. already there. But what will our people say? What will they think when we tell them they are brothers and sisters to the winged demons? You're their queen, and so you'll have to make them understand and accept their heritage. As must the elation, I expect, and I don't think it will be any easier for them to come to terms with their history. You must go to them, then, to find if our temple speaks the truth, and if they are willing to speak with us like civilized people. I guess I must. Water stiller or not, if you don't reunite with them, you will die, eventually. We will bring you to the shores of their closest island, and we will await word from you on their answer. Does this mean you believe me? You are the water stiller. You are prophecy. We will follow your directions and fulfill our destiny. One of our people will bring you to Alais, a night's journey from here. Once there, you will find the Elation and speak with their leaders. If they agree to meet, then we will do so in a place of your choosing. I promise I'll do my best. Goodbye. Safe journey, Water Stellar. We will hold on to the piece of the disc you found in the temple. If the Winged Demons, the Elation, agree to meet us, we will bring the stone. Yeah, bye! And that leads into chapter 8, Reunification. Are you unificate? Really? Land ho! 
because there's a hoe on the land. Get it? Ha ha! Oh boy. Well, first thing we need to notice is there's a rope. We're gonna take it. We'll get some flavor text going on. Emerald green and clear as the morning sky. That's perfect holiday water. Is it? I could get lost if I just wander off into the jungle with no idea what the island looks like or where I'm heading. All right, let's go to the right here. And we'll find something really weird that doesn't even remotely look like what they say it is. Apparently, that's a big crab. Does not look like a big crab. It's some kind of giant crab. It sounds like the poor thing's in a lot of pain. Yeah, the shell does look way too tight. Maybe he's outgrown it, but can't shed it, or whatever it's called. I'll just take a shot here and ask you: Is there any chance you speak like? Real language like um Arcadian or English? Okay. Now is there some kind of magic I have to learn or potion I have to drink or eat or ingest in some way to learn your language? Because that's usually how it goes. It's not wrong. No? Too bad. Although I'm glad I don't have to draw blood or swallow a stone or something. Can't help but feel that you're asking me for help though. It's the strangest thing. After all, you're just clicking your claws, aren't you? It's not as if you're really talking, is it? Well, we will get to that later, because we need to go back the other way. Because we have rope, and we might as well put that rope to use right now. And by right now, I mean rippity rippity right now, because we have... It's a tiny tree. And a the top half of the statue depicts a big-mouthed creature calling out. And finally... A... It's a deep hole. More like a crevice, actually. Caused by some kind of seismic activity. God, it must be at least 50 meters down. The crevice widens out into a huge cave just below. And there's water at the bottom. So, what do we need to do? Well, of course we need to take the rope. And of course we need to tie it to a tiny tree. Of course we need to tie it to a tiny tree. So we can go down the hole to the blow. Crazy. We should climb down. It's the remains of a stone structure that probably fell down here through the crevice. There's a piece amongst the rubble that looks like a bolt or a key. It's intact. Let's take it. And I love the description of this item. Are you ready? Here we go. It's a kind of stone key carved into the uncanny likeness of a key with the head on the end. It's kind of a stone key carved in the uncanny likeness of a key. I leave you with that. That's a Marum City. So we have a Marum City here. It's a deserted Marum City. We have a Alation City up top. Seems kind of like a good place for a meeting. Mm. Seems like it to me. But first, we're going to go back up. We got all we needed here. We, need, we got the key carved into the, into the uncanny likeness of a key. I'll take the rope just in case I need it again. You never know when you're gonna need some rope. I can always put it back. It's fine. So let me see here. 
There's someone we haven't talked to in a long time. Probably worried about us. Grow! April! You're alive! You're here! You're soaking wet! Where did you go? I thought you drowned. I was completely miserable. And the chicks on this island are so prissy. They don't even care for a kiss unless you're all settled down with a nest in your own territory. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't getting no loving. I had a little adventure under the sea. Oh? I didn't know humans had gills. We don't. Well, I do. I think. At least I can breathe underwater now. Cool. Not as cool as being able to fly, of course, but still. Hey, does that mean you're a mermaid? Hardly. I don't have a tail. What did you do after I saw you last? Well, it took a while, but I found land. Not this island, just a rock with a couple of trees, basically. But when I went back to tell you, you disappeared. I thought you'd gone bonkers from thirst and hunger and drowned yourself or something, so I decided I'd better find solid ground myself or I'd suffer the same fate. And then I found this place. Nice, isn't it? And the best part is, there are no hunters. Only a bunch of big crabs on the east side of the island and a volcano. Glad to see you haven't lost the gift of the gab crow. Lady, you have no idea how limited bird Twitter can be. It's all, hi this and here I am that, all damn day long. I haven't had a decent conversation in days. Well, you're making up for it now. I never know when you're gonna go AWOL on me again. I'm gonna walk around for a bit, crow. I'll just stay here and preen myself, thank you very much. I mean, he's not wrong. He never knows when we're going to go AWOL. Go crazy and just run away. Just run away into the wind. Never to be seen until I come back and am seen. But next time, friends, we will explore this island some more. I'm sure it doesn't have tons of secrets that we have to figure out or puzzles or everything. It probably does. I mean, come on. Let's be real here probably does. So until then, friends, y'all take care, and of course, have a good one.